So you want to be a writer, do you? Well, if you're serious about writing, then you've come to the right place. I'm Professor Parsons, and this is part six in my series of videos that accompany my book, Permission to Write. One of the things that's really changed in the world of publishing over the last 10 or 15 years or so is that everybody can now publish a book. You don't need a publisher to do it. You can just get online and publish your book. But just because you can do something doesn't mean you should. After 30 years as a writer and a writing teacher, I've learned one thing, and that is that writing is hard work. And if you're not prepared to do the hard work of writing, and if people are telling you how easy it's going to be, then you're never going to be a successful, serious writer. But if you want to be successful and you want to learn some of the realities, come along with me inside my computer and I'll tell you what it's like to be a writer. Before I begin, I need you to know that I care about writing and I care about books. I particularly care about the quality of the writing in books and everywhere else for that matter. I often find myself appalled by the number of books and online blog posts that seem to suggest that writing is easy, or if you just followed someone's easy 10-step plan for writing success, then you'd achieve your goal of being a writer. Oh, the act of writing can be very easy. You just start typing or moving your hand that holds the pen. What's not easy is getting it right and ending up with a final product that you can be proud of. Of course, if you don't care about the quality of your writing, you might just as well turn this video off right now. If you do a simple online search about how to write a book, you'll come up with such of the gems as the following. 10 simple ways to writing a book. How to write your book in 10 easy, doable steps. 10 ridiculously simple steps for writing a book. And I'm not kidding, these are real names. And I'll bet you that if you follow through with the steps these online gurus suggest, you just might write something that resembles a book. What I'm trying to suggest to you is that there is nothing easy or simple about writing a good book. This is a myth, and it's often held by people who seem to think that the writing life would be easy. Come to think about it, there are a lot of myths about the writing life. Well, maybe it's time to put the easy life myth into context. Here are what I consider to be some of the most insidious myths about hard work and the writer's life. First, a writer's life is glamorous. <laughs> Seriously? Glamorous? Well, you must be thinking about F. Scott Fitzgerald and Ernest Hemingway in Paris in the 1920s. 21st century writers spend their days toiling alone in front of their computers. They're trying to eke out a living doing what they love to do. They're working hard. Of course, there are people like J.K. Rowling, one of the richest writers in the world, and who surely attends her share of glamorous events. But of course, that is the 0.01%. Second, second myth, a writer's life is unfettered. This is a good one. Another myth about the writer's life, another myth that's related to the myth that writing is easy. Why is it that so many wannabe writers seem to think that a writer's life is so unfettered? free, loose, unencumbered, without anyone to answer to. That's the appealing bit, isn't it? The very idea of working alone without a boss breathing over your shoulder is appealing, right? Well, writers have lots of things breathing down their necks. Things like editors, deadlines, bill collectors, relatives who wonder when they're ever going to be able to pay the rent again and why you don't have a real job, which brings me to one of the most enduring myths about writers' lives. Just picture it. Real, real writers sit in cafes waiting for ideas to come. Really. Writers do not spend their days in cafes drinking coffee and tapping mindlessly on their laptops while contemplating their Instagram feeds. Writers are disciplined. Writers are determined. Writers are hard workers. If you're lazy, you'll never finish that book. Writers either have deadlines set for them by others, like editors, or ones they set for themselves if they're smart. It's the only way to generate any kind of momentum, and momentum gets the work done. Writer Annie Dillard, whose classic book, The Writing Life, illuminates the often grueling yet occasionally sublime life of the writer, had this to say about the work. A schedule defends from chaos and whim a net for catching days. And the truth is that writers need that net to catch the time required to get the work done, and a self-imposed schedule helps. 
Here's another myth. Writers with talent are lucky because they don't need to work at it. Oh. Talent, which of course means a special natural aptitude or skill, is important, but it isn't enough. Now here's what best-selling author Stephen King had to say about talent. Talent is cheaper than table salt. What separates the talented individual from the successful one is hard work. And he should know, he is talented, but he's probably one of the hardest working writers alive today. Former U.S. Defense Secretary Colin Powell once said, a dream does not become reality through magic. It takes sweat, determination, and hard work. You aren't going to want to hear this, but lazy people will never be real writers. This, despite what some best-selling authors suggest, they might say they are lazy writers, but that's only in comparison with other writers, not with you, regardless of what you do. And this is really important if you're writing on the side of whatever else you do to keep body and soul together, to pay the rent, the mortgage, to buy groceries, to send your kids to ballet or hockey. In a way, really, writing is no different from anything else you do in life, if it really matters to you. It's not easy being a great parent. It takes hard work. It's not easy being a successful professional. It takes hard work. It's not easy being a successful business person. It takes hard work. So why is it that so many people seem to think that there's some easy way to be a writer? What would you think of this as a book title? 10 Ridiculously Easy Ways to Become a Physician. Would you trust the doctor who took that approach to the practice of medicine? Well, I know I wouldn't. The truth is that like anything else, with study and lots of practice, 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 writing does get easier. I said easier, not easy. Writing teacher Natalie Goldberg, whose work I continue to highly recommend, once wrote, This is your life. You are responsible for it. You will not live forever. Don't wait. So, don't wait to write. Go to your desk and start right now. And stop talking about writing with everyone. Just write. Well, now you know how I feel about lazy writers. If you're going to be a lazy writer, then you're going to have lazy writing. And it's not going to be good. And the success is that you're looking for is just not going to be there. But if you're serious about writing and want to know the realities, then come along with me for the rest of this journey. Subscribe to the Moonlight Press channel and we'll carry on.